afternoon from the First Alert Weather Center. I'm Chief Meteorologist Damon Lane. Here's your February 25th noon weather briefing as we look at visible satellite across the plains here. Plenty of cloud cover ongoing across the northern plains. Also seeing the clouds out across the southern plains. Here from Kansas to Oklahoma, we're seeing a mix of sun and clouds as we look at this DOT camera here coming from just east of Salina, Kansas, which would be just about right here. You can see socked in with clouds. Looks like some low fog hanging around western parts of Kansas and in the plains of Colorado. But as we go just west of the uh, where this fog deck is we're actually looking at Cedar Point Colorado this is just right along I-70 looking to the east there you can see that fog way off in the distance otherwise fairly nice day across Colorado but it looks like more cloud cover coming in in a couple a uh, couple hours across Oklahoma here temperatures are gonna be fairly cool this afternoon this is going to be for six o'clock temperatures only in the mid 40s here in Oklahoma City same thing in Tulsa 30s and 20s across Kansas and as you go up into Nebraska where the teens are going to be found down in the Texas still seeing that cold front this cold front is going to keep moving down to the south meaning that yeah these 70s are going to be replaced by the 40s as we head into Wednesday afternoon the 40s for highs from Austin to Waco the Dallas the only getting into the upper 30s and lower 40s during the afternoon from Oklahoma City the Tulsa and then as we look into western Oklahoma out the Amarillo Texas temperatures and the low to mid 40s as we go into Thursday afternoon warmer air starts to move back in across the panhandles of both Oklahoma and Texas here Guymon Oklahoma climbing into the 60s Amarillo down to Lubbock temperatures in the 60s here in Oklahoma a little bit warmer than what we're likely going to see for Wednesday highs here getting into the 50s and 40s but then we start watching another other area of some extremely cold air moving into the upper Midwest. Look at Minnesota here. Temperatures during the afternoon below zero. Now as we go into Friday morning, a little system is going to move right across the southern plains, bringing in mostly just some very light rain showers for Oklahoma City, northbound up into Ponca City, and as you go in towards around Tulsa, it appears that the freezing line is going to be a little bit closer to Wichita, Kansas, so a little bit of a light rain-snow mix. Certainly, I don't see much in the form of any type of travel impacts because of this, but Friday afternoon is going to be a rather difficult day. The models here, especially the Euro model, is projecting that we'll see some increased warmth coming in across Texas and the Oklahoma here with temperatures in the 60s and 70s and then into the 80s but notice how as we go up and towards around Kansas temperatures in the 30s and 40s eventually this colder air is going to start moving down to the south and that will start to bring in some colder temperatures as we look into Sunday morning Sunday morning has a chance of getting in some rain and a little bit of a rain snow mix across Oklahoma certainly not a whole lot is projected in the form of intense snowfall across Oklahoma but we'll have to watch it pretty closely and that will likely be the bigger weather story as we head into early next week is our increasing chances for rain and snow we'll have more about this coming up tonight on KOCO 5 News at 5, 6, and 10. See you then.